Hi, hi. This is a practical sample exam using spreadsheet software. Jonathan wants to record the daily sales of each newspaper. He has started a spreadsheet which he has saved as sales. And here you can see the name. Jonathan wants to improve the layout of the spreadsheet and the first task is merge cells A1 to I1. So we start here. A1 and we drag over to I1. Merge and center. So that's easy. Merge cells. And format the title to bold size 20. So we click B and 20. Okay, that's been formatted. Enter the title in the merge cells. And that's it for task one. So this is the title. And as it's too big, we'll have to open the cell a little bit bigger. And it's enough just to double click here on the border. Now for the next task, format the column titles in row three and make them bold and centered. So here's row three, so we can just click on the row number, which is three, and bold and center. So B and centered is over here. Okay, that's done. The next one. Format the cells C4 to H15. So C4 is over here to H15, like this, so that their contents will be centered. And now it's centered. Format the spreadsheet to include appropriate borders and shading. Okay, borders we can have is, for example, we're probably going to have the totals here underneath, so we can add this border already. Now shading, we could choose, what shading should we choose? One of these here, not too dark though, like this one is fine. You can also have the titles differently shaded and it's up to you to select the, the one that you like. This is blue shading. Now, appropriate column widths and ho row heights so that all the data is visible. Now we can see newspaper and it's missing the R and the rest, we can see the rest appropriately. So everything is fine so far. Jonathan has not yet entered the prices of the newspapers into the spreadsheet. Enter the prices in column B. So this is column B using the information from the table. Okay, I'm going to do this quickly now. Okay, I was super quick entering the prices. Here they are. And the next task is to format the price column to currency. So what we have to do is select the prices, go here to accounting, and we select English for the United Kingdom pounds. You can see the currency already added. Ensure the prices are displayed with the pound symbol and two decimal places. Okay, if we have to increase or decrease the decimal places, that's done here. Here's to decrease and here's to increase. And we have two decimal places, so that's fine. Okay, that's it for that task. Now the next one. Jonathan wants to use the spreadsheet for calculations. Enter a formula in cell H4 so we go to cell H4 to calculate the total sales of the post during the week. So total sales would be calculated by enter a formula calculate total sales of the post. Okay, so this is the first newspaper is the post. The sales would be from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we select all the cells here and the last one which is sales and we can just click auto sum straight away and when you click in the cell you can see how the formula is you're summing up c4 to g4 which is the range reference now the next task is enter a formula in cell i4 so this is i4 to calculate the income uh, no yes to calculate the income for the post newspaper so income would be the sales that they made times the price for the newspaper. So we put equals 
and we can click here on sales times the price enter and there we have the income then replicate the formula in cells H4 and I4 for the other newspapers now that's as simple as clicking on it and dragging from the corner down the column and again same thing for income okay in suitable cells enter a formula to calculate the total income for the week so the total income for the week would be all this added up together so we can select it all leave an empty cell for the to total sum to come into which is 964 pounds 94 now enter a suitable label for the total in an appropriate cell now that would be appropriate cell next to it so I write there total income as you can see we can't see all the headings so I'm gonna double click on the border to open it up better the next thing Jonathan wants to know the average sales figures for each day so for each day he wants the average for Monday if we're gonna see what the average is for Monday we select I think it's better to select the extra cell over here as this one first one is for total income so to create the average formula we can click here and select average and it will automatically calculate equals average C4 which is here to C16 which is down here okay the next thing we're asked to do is copy this formula across for the other days of the week so we click here and drag to Friday now we've got all the average for all the days and we have to increase the column size here so I'm gonna double click on the border to make everything fit but there are too many too many decimal places so we're gonna have to fix that it's not asking us to do it but we can see it straight away so we're gonna decrease it so I'm gonna click here should have at least two like they asked before then we're asked to sort the table in al alphabetical order of newspaper so we can click here not on the title but on the first newspaper click on sort and ascending and there we have it C D E I everything in the correct alphabetical order now the next task is make the page landscape so page layout orientation landscape make sure the columns are wide enough to display the data and complete formula now they're asking us to display the formula how do we do that? We go to data and uh, let me see, where was it? Or could it be in view? Or review? No, I think it's in view. View, it should say formula somewhere. Show formula. Why can't I find it? Uh, uh, uh. I was almost 100% sure it was in data. Ah, formulas there it is and show formulas okay show the grid lines to do that we'll go here to print and it's got here Excel options I do not want that file print it should have print options print preview let's see how it comes out okay and we're still missing the border so we go to page setup and there we can show the grid lines by going to sheet and show grid lines show the row and column headers so row and column headings we select this also now and if we press OK we can see how it comes out exactly how we want it to be now if we would print now we would be missing a part of the spreadsheet so we're gonna ha have to close the print preview and we're going to have to decrease decrease the cell sizes as much as possible this one for example does not need to be so wide so I'm going to decrease the size the newspaper is also way too big and here we're still missing this part of the spreadsheet let me fix that ok 
Okay, so we carry on decreasing the column width and I think we have to drag this one a little bit to the side just to be able to fit everything on one page. This we can still decrease. Still want to have the all the heading viewed appropriately. And let me see how much I can. Okay, it's just missing a little bit of the bracket. This one should be okay like this. And if I decrease this one, this one a little bit. Okay, now finally everything is in view. So if you print this, this will be printed on one page. And they can see the formula, they can see the grid lines. So you would now go to print, but remember you have to add a header and a footer to have your name and candidate number printed also. But I'm going to see it again in print preview. Print, print preview. And we've got the heading like they asked for, and that means they see here A, B, C, and 1, 2, 3 for the rows. And that's it for this practical exam. Thank you. Bye-bye.